Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So what's on tap for today? Well, we've got another video clip, this time it's from Campus Reform, and we're going to give our reaction to what their reporter is asking students on campus about a racist statement and what do the students think about it. We're going to get to that in just the next few seconds, but before we do so, we just want to let you know that you're watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your guest host for today. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow us. Hit that notification bell and comment below. Let us know what you think. Let's get to that reaction video right now. Jacobson with Campus Reform, we've seen so many talks about race and racism in recent weeks, and we're here today at the University of Florida to talk with students about one example they may not know about, Planned Parenthood. How will students react when they find out about Planned Parenthood's racist founder? Let's find out. So over the last few weeks in this country, we've seen a movement to remove racist historical figures, institutions, and statues. Do you agree with this movement? Should we be doing that? Yeah, I completely agree with removing Confederate statues and any racist landmarks if they have a negative history. America has like a really toxic past and we shouldn't be like uh, memorializing that. Um, I think it's good. I think as a country we need to progress past like idolizing racist figures. Okay, so I want to give you a quote that was said by the founder of a really prominent institution in this country. I'm going to read you a quote and get your reaction, okay? We do not want word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. This individual also once spoke at a KKK meeting. How do you feel about this quote? Um, I think there's no question how I should feel about the quote. <laughs> I think that's bad. That's just so obviously wrong. Um, I think that he shouldn't be a founder of any institution. I can't believe someone said that. He should be held accountable or she should be held accountable for what they said. Stop being racist. Um, to exterminate any human being is not okay. He should probably be exposed for that. It's racist. The worst part is there's several people who are currently in power that I can guess made that quote. Who do you think made that quote? Of course, my first thought goes to Trump. Why do you think Trump? Of course, my first thought goes to Donald Trump, right? And then here's another thing. How sexist are these girls? 90%, almost everyone except one of them, I think, correct herself, but said, he, he shouldn't have said that. He shouldn't have said that. They attributed it immediately. Sexist, right? I mean, is that what they would say if we said that? If she said it, they'd be saying the same damn thing. And every one of these people, why is it that, most of these people, they just look liberal, these students. They just look it. You can feel it. It's just like, you know, it's emanating, oozing from their body. It's like an aura of leftism, of progressism, of modernism. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Trump is racist. If literally anyone looks up anything about Trump and things that he said, I think it's a safe conclusion to draw. Do you have any direct quotes about that? Like any direct quotes that he said? I don't know any quotes off the no. top of my head, honestly. So what about the organization? What should be done um, with the organization? Um, I think there should be like maybe an investigation. I don't think that the entire organization, everyone associated with it can be, in a sense, canceled. But I definitely think that there should be actions taken to mitigate the, the way that her, their founder has acted. Should we even be funding this organization if that's what the founder said? And they should definitely like look into what the organization is promoting and whatnot. It's them excusing something like that would be racist. People as individuals need to like really decide for themselves if they want to support it or not. Um, but I know I definitely wouldn't if the leader said that. So what if I were to tell you that this quote was actually said by Margaret Sanger? Okay, here it comes right now, folks. We're going to go back to that a little bit. But right now she's, what if I were to tell you that this quote came from Margaret, Margaret Sanger, founder of Planned Parenthood, and the mother of eugenics, all right? Let's just go back just slightly to see what she says in that regard and we'll see what happens there. No, I definitely wouldn't if the leader said that. So what if I were to tell you that this quote was actually said by Margaret Sanger, who is the founder of Planned Parenthood? Dang, all right. <laughs> did you know about that? No, I did not, but yeah, they should do something about that. Um, it makes me feel nauseous. I'm actually surprised. Well, I mean, Planned Parenthood is usually a very liberal and inclusive organization. I kind of actually... Yeah, they're very inclusive, right? They're inclusive about, you know, killing children. That's how inclusive they are. We knew that Planned Parenthood was founded 
in a kind of in a um, selective breeding kind of thing, there's definitely problems within that. Because I know black babies are aborted at a way higher rate than white babies. If I were a supporter or not a supporter, what she said wouldn't really change it. Because I'm sure that there's many people under that founder that care about black lives. So it's fine. You can have the person on top, the CEO, the president of the company, the founder, whatever. They could be a total racist and they could be want to exterminate a whole race. But there's people underneath, underneath that are good people, which is okay. But they wouldn't be following what the person whose main message is, you know, getting rid, you know, ethnic cleansing, killing an entire race wiping them out through eugenics and saying that they're not, they're the, the inferior race. That's okay. Did you see how before? Yeah, absolutely. Racist comment. He, she, you know, I wouldn't support it. As soon as you find out it's Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger. Oh, well, well, you know what? I Maybe. Yeah, I guess. Uh, uh, uh. That's what happens when you fall on the liberal side of the issue, the leftist side, the progressive side, the woke side, the social justice warrior side, the feel good side, right? That's basically what happens. Like, I agree with what Planned Parenthood is good doing, but I definitely don't think someone like that should be a leader. Well, I actually do stand with Planned Parenthood. The abortion rate for black women is five times higher than white women. Can an organization that says they support Black Lives Matter really say that if, you know, their founder she said that their goal is to exterminate the Negro population. I'm actually going to cut you off right now. Um. <laughs> I'm actually going to cut you off right now. I want you to stop this video. Well, they didn't, honey. They kept you in. And you're a prime example of the hypocrisy that goes on with students like you that are completely woke, completely social justice warrior, have no idea about what the hell is going on, and just decide that, you know what? It feels good. I can virtue signal. And I can I can virtue signal that I'm so good. I'm so great that, you know what? Women need autonomy of their bodies. We can go ahead and abort and kill babies. But as long as we have the ability to do so, that's good for me. And if the leader, if the founder wants to exterminate a whole race, who cares about that? It doesn't matter. It doesn't fit in my narrative. I want this interview done. It shouldn't really matter like who has abortions more. I think abortions should be um, available to everyone. Someone else should step up to the plate who is more accepting and who resembles what Planned Parenthood says they stand for, which is lives. When you say that Planned Parenthood stands for lives, what do you mean by that? Like they, they help women um, make their Kill own decisions. Babies. I've had a good experience with them. And Planned Parenthood stands for life. <laughs> All right, Planned Parenthood, what's it stand for? It stands for life. These students, I weep for our future. Some of these students, I hope not, but some of these lead, some of these students might want to be our leader someday. And then you have some person like this, part of SIMR, my acronym, S-I-M-R, stupid, idiotic, moronic, retarded, basically says Planned Parenthood stands for life. I wonder what her GPA is. And um, they like to help others. As long as that the organization itself isn't being racist, then we can't really go after the organization itself for it. I still definitely support Planned Parenthood. I do think Planned Parenthood is important and needs to like continue on. Anyways, like I was saying before, folks, was is that this is just another one of those videos that when you see these students get caught saying things about something that they actually, you know, they, they actually believe that somebody said that, like the girl there said, oh, I know exactly a couple of people that come to the top of my head. And they go, who is it? Well, Trump, of course, it's Trump. Somebody on the conservative side, you know, it couldn't be anybody, okay, on the left, couldn't be a progressive couldn't be somebody in the uh, hypocrite from Hollywood or academia. No, no, no. It's got to be from the right, a conservative white male. That's who's got to be making these statements. And you saw, as soon as they were given the quote and who it came from, they basically said, oh, it, 
just words. You know what? I still see support the organization. Just don't support the other person before they wanted to rip down statues. If it's ripped down statues of some white elite person that made some remarks or whatever from our past, oh, that's perfectly fine. But some lady who's a founder of killing babies, killing black babies, eugenics, everything is fine. Just goes to show you the hypocrisy of our millennials, of Gen Z, Gen Xers, young people in general, and also older people as well. Hope you enjoyed that video. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your guest host today. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. Put your comments down below. Let us know what you think. Watch all of our other videos by hitting that notification bell. And I'll leave you with my final thought, which is, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. See you again next time, folks. Take care and stay safe.